morning everybody I'm going to do a little video here just to show you how I take care of using um, free software for my laser and uh, I'll kind of touch on some things I do for my shape Oco also uh, this is for the laser that I am uh, doing this for is a um, Jinsoku LE 1620 by Sane Smart. Uh, for the rest of the video, I'm just going to refer to it as a 1620 uh, just to make it easier. So uh, we're just going to get into this. Now, first off, I use a combination of softwares for the laser as well as for the Shape Oco. Um, the main design software that I mainly use is Inkscape. It just is a very simple software that uh, it takes a little bit of trial and error to get it the way you want it, but it turns out pretty good by the time you after you've learned it and there's several videos on uh, YouTube for how to use Inkscape um, so we're just going to get in here we've got our Inkscape pulled up first thing I always do is I go up here to where it's got the millimeters and I always change that to inches for myself it makes it easier for me and everything so first thing is we need to get us a image put in so we're going to go to file and then come down to import and we're going to pick us out a fairly simple image here to use uh, since easter is pretty close around we're going to go ahead with a rabbit now first thing before you start stretching out your picture you can see here if I just went to stretch this right now it would be distorted and everything so right here this undo last action is what you do to undo the goof up that you make and then this little lock over here we're going to click on that to lock it and we can drag this image now out and it will stay its normal size as you can see though this image has a white background we need to get rid of that for using it with our other softwares so um, you don't have to with the laser gerbil it just makes it easier if you're wanting to add text or something like that so we're going to go up here to path we're going to click trace bitmap with your image selected you can see here the brightness threshold is uh, set at 450. If we go ahead and click on update, you can see we're missing some of our uh, lighter detailed spots that is in this image. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to bump this up. And you can click on update as you go along to see how it's coming along you can go all the way up to 1.0 on this uh, if you do though I'll show you here it will make the background completely black like that there and you can then go down from it and it will slowly come back but we're going to try it at 750 and that gives us the majority of our details from what I can tell so we can click on that we'll move our image over from our original and look at it compare them i'm happy with the way that looks so we're going to go ahead and close out of that we're going to go ahead and delete our original image and we're going to bring this over here to our page now we still got the lock set so we can adjust our size by dragging it and all the images I get is either from Pinterest or Google or some of the free uh, clip art 
um, sites. Uh, you just do a search for uh, free clip art and you can find a few. Most times though I use Google or Pinterest and just save the images on either. Now we're going to add some writing to this and now all of I have a bunch of uh, fonts here so we're going to go down through here and just pick out one all of the fonts that I get are also free um, I'll link it in the description uh, the the one I use is defont.com and they have a lot of different styles on there from cursive writing they have western style uh, a lot of different kinds so we're just going to click on one here that's fairly easy for the laser or the cnc to use either way and we're just going to click put in something here happy easter so we're just going to click on that. Now you can see here our T is touching the P on the happy where we've put them underneath each other. Now we have different settings up here. Right here is line spacing. It's spacing between the lines of your writing. Over this way there is a... Uh, this one is spacing between the letters. Those are the two, the only two that I have ever used. These others I've never messed with. Uh, this is spacing between the words. I have used that once or twice, but usually it's this one and this one, this one more than any. So we're going to space them out a little bit and you can see how it made the Easter drop down a little bit. So we're going to move that over here now. and. You can see I can adjust this over to where it's not centered of the rabbit to make it more noticeable. But we want those both centered. So what we're going to do is we're going to select both. We're going to click right here on align and distribute objects. We've already got it set to the page which is referring to this square. We're going to click right here, center, center on vertical axis, and that gets us dead center. The words and the rabbit is centered now. So to do our image, we need to have them both selected. We're going to click on combine path and then combine. That will set them together to where you can move them around. And when you click off and click back on, they're automatically on it. That selects both of them. And we can center that to our page perfectly. So now, if you are doing a CNC, you want to save this as a SVG file. And take into account when you are saving files like this, um, if you're exporting as PNG or whatever, you need it inside of this page frame or it will not do it for you. Um, so we're going to, for the CNC, we're going to click as save as. We're going to click on plain SVG. We're just going to put in here. Uh, Easter CNC test and we're going to click save now that's got us saved for the CNC now for the laser the easiest way I found so far is to click on our image export PNG image and now right here in this file name section this will change every time you open Inkscape for some reason, it's a glitch in the system. It will not, no matter what you set it on, if you 
turn off Inkscape and then bring it back up, it will automatically change again. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our USB drive that I've got all my patterns saved on. Uh, click on animals since I have them all separated out. We're going to save it as that for our file name where we're going to save this picture as at. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click right here as export. And we're, we've just exported this image. Now we'll lower that down and we will bring up our laser gerbil. Okay, now when you get your um, 1620, it will come with a small flash drive. Uh, on that flash drive, it will have uh, several different files and folders. This right here is what I'm using for my screen recording. Uh, this didn't come on the flash drive, but I downloaded it to it because there's a little extra space on here. But you will have uh, laser gerbil, light burn, uh, you'll have some test pictures, your manuals on here, a link for your first uh, burn tutorial, custom buttons. I'll show you that in just a second, uh, as well as a driver. Now, when you install your, uh, if you want to try it, uh, light burn when you go to it and you install it it is just a basic you can't use anything until you pay for it and they send you your key code or how, whatever that's the only way you can use the light burn so it just calls you got the program it is not free uh, laser gerbil is completely free um, once you download it you will get it installed and everything. You'll want your BAUD set to 115-200 right here. Um, this will be set for your uh, the USB port that you have your laser plugged into. Um, the easiest thing to do is plug your laser in. Pull down this drop down menu part. Then unplug your laser, see which one disappears, plug it back in, see which one reappears, then click on it. That will be the one that your laser is connected to. Um, now, when you first do it, you want to install this driver. Um, laser Gerbil already has it. You click on the tools, click install driver. It'll have a pop-up. You install it, and you're ready to go. Now, right here on the bottom of the screen is a bunch of different buttons. These were totally different when I first installed Laser Gerbil. Um, but the 1620, uh, the flash drive that, it, that comes with it, comes with these custom buttons here. What you will want to do is you'll want to bring up your Laser Gerbil right click down here import custom buttons then it will open up your file explorer for you you need to come to this file and click on it it will install those buttons and then you will be ready to go it will have these buttons already installed for you and it makes it a lot easier because they're tailored to what the 1620 will do so to start our first file now i don't have it have the laser with me or plugged up right now but what we would do is we would click connect and connect to our laser and we would home the laser um, the 1620 moves very very slow when it's homing it the best way i've found to do uh, your homing sequence 
is to move the laser down to near the homing uh, corner and by hand and then click home. It will home a lot quicker that way. Now for your first project, first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to go up here and click open file. And we've got it right here. Okay, you can see we got our Happy Easter and the rabbit. Now, the easiest thing to do is set this on black and white for just standard black and white images like this, where it's either going to be burnt or it's going to be left alone. And then click on line to line tracing. You can do all these others, but so far, line to line tracing has uh, given me the best results. You'll want to set this on horizontal so that uh, it will be going this direction. The laser will be moving on the arm instead of the arm moving on the main gantry, where the laser weighs less than the whole arm it will be able to move easier it'll move a little quicker and you just come out better now when you first install laser gerbil this right here the quality will be set different i think it was at like eight when i first installed this uh you will want to bump this up bump it up to ten thousand. it will do so much better or ten point zero 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 it will give you a lot better look on your burn. And then we're going to go ahead and click on next. Now this is your target image. Now I want this to be one uh, to be four inches tall. I've already inputted this before. Uh, four inches equals 101.6 on um, in millimeters. That is the only downfall to laser gerbil. You are not able to change it to inches. It has to stay on millimeters. And I've not been able to find any way to change that. If anyone knows how to, please leave that in the comments. But I've already got this set to four inches. Uh, you can see here it's set to 16 for the minimal on the laser output which is 1.6 that's not enough to burn the wood anyway um, it's more like for getting it aligned on your material and then a thousand is a hundred percent now you want to leave that alone have that set like that now up here we have our engraving speed I haven't figured out how to get it set perfectly for pine yet. When I get that adjustment made, I will update you all. But for poplar, plywood, and cedar, so far, 2000 works great for it. And we're going to go ahead and click create. And now, what I was saying about the pine, it's not the laser. It is the pine I'm using, I believe, because everything else I've put on this thing has burnt wonderful. Um, the pine I have, I think, has just a little bit too much moisture in it, so it just doesn't burn well. But we're going to go ahead and we brought this in. Uh, one thing I did forget, I'll show you here before we go on. This is something that makes it easier. You see this button right here. This is center the image vertical and horizontal. Zero at center. This makes it a lot easier. You click on that. All that, that changes is offsets. That gets it out of the lower uh, left corner of the work area on your laser it sets it to the center of the work area you want to do that for sure it makes it so much easier to set this up so like i said i don't have the laser connected i'll 
connect it and show you how it will burn um, in a few minutes but what we would do is we've got our image loaded here we've got it to where it's set where the center is uh, in the center of the work area now what I normally do is I take and I move my laser to where I want the center of the uh, image to be then I will click here which is um, to set your um, location your center location go ahead and you'll center it right where you're wanting the center of your image to be and then you can frame project and it will show you where your image will be burnt now that's about all I can do here so I'll get connected to the laser and I'll be back okay guys we are back um, I've already got our happy Easter uh, file loaded in onto the computer and I've already connected to our laser using the connect feature right here or in the gerbil here um, it would be where the disconnect is now um, like I mentioned last time this laser is pretty slow on homing so what I've done is I have by hand positioned it to where it is close to where it homes and we're going to go right down here and we're going to click on home and it automatically homes on its own and hit homes in this corner so it goes rather quickly that way so now we're going to uh, test fire click on hit or first let's go ahead and bring our laser up using this uh, the control pad here and we'll bring it over toward the center a little bit right about there we're going to click on our test fire button and click frame project just to make sure we're within our piece of material this piece is this here design is about four inches tall and it's somewhere right around two uh, two inches wide uh, remember a uh, laser gerbil does everything in millimeters so you'll want to have a converter handy uh, to put in the sizes you're wanting okay now right here beside a frame project you got this little globe uh, this here is for set zero point that is going to set your project center here so we're going to go ahead and click on that get our zero point in the center i've already done our z zero height with the little block now let's go ahead and click run program and see where it goes and there she goes remember to wear your glasses when doing this Just a second, I'm going to pause you so I can get you in a better position.
project or burn just got finished according to this it took 19 minutes total and just look at this let me turn this light on because of the shadow of the phone see we got a really nice burn even though this is on crummy plywood uh, this is some of the pine plywood that Home Depot sells but it just gave us a really good burn here really pleased with how that turned out and uh, so like I said we've got this done it took 19 minutes to finish on plywood we got the same smart Jinmitsu Jinsoku LE 1620 remember to wear your glasses when using and it turned out really great um, that there is a good way of using a combination of free softwares uh, Inkscape and um, laser gerbil to be able to make projects like this and tons of others um, very easily and uh, not have to invest into um, the pricey softwares that are out there uh, laser i mean light burn is a fairly cheap software compared to some of the others that are out there um, but you've already invested in the machine it is nice to be able to just start burning and uh, making projects without having to turn around and buy software uh, to go along with it to run the machine um, this is a way that if you've only got the cash to get the machine you can um, start burning you don't have to wait another month or so until you get the cash in to um, afford light burn you can start day one you can order this machine you can get the softwares and be practicing on uh, them until your machine um, arrives at home um, once again huge uh, shout out and thank you to sane smart who sent me this laser um, i plan on putting it to very good use um, doing projects like this along with um, doing uh, custom engravings on um, charcuterie boards cutting boards and such like that so uh, just stay to stay tuned to the channel uh, make sure you hit the subscribe uh, button and the bell icon so that you are uh, notified when uh, more videos come out and we will see you on the next one. Thanks everybody.